what are you guys working on? I'm I'm just now getting to work on this. Start adding some links. I was like, okay, what is this challenge doing again? Why am I able to see the chat the channel? Did I sign up to do this or what? <laughs> You know, everybody can. It's not a, it's just open to everybody. And just follow uh, the event. <laughs> I've been mostly doing find a grave links, adding yeah. a statement that see WikiTube profile in that's the, and the comment. And they've been accepted by all the profile managers. Yeah, that's awesome. Because I'll do other changes and they'll just leave it there. Yeah. I've actually Except I forget had... to put them on the camera on the table i've made a few suggestions for find a grave where the date or something is wrong um and the manager of the of the find a grave memorial will go and change it whereas i've seen so many people say they don't do it because the managers just don't do the changes even when you provide you know, documentation for it. Oh, because I've added dates, I've connected families, I've done lots of changes on Find a Grave. Yeah. It's like if I find them and they're connected, I'll link them together in Find a Grave. Yeah. So I'm trying to, I'm going through, um, so there's a, a free space project that I started for Doctor Who. So I'm going to go through what I was going to work on today is the um, IMDB pages for the different doctors and make sure that they have the external link to the to their page. I started a free space page a while ago for a TV series I love, which is Glee. Oh, but yeah. Most of the people are still living. Yeah. So there's a there's three that have died and then a couple of others that have been guest stars that have died. But I don't know what to do with the free space page because most of them are living <laughs> yeah but they're if they're uh meet the notables uh yeah then they can be yeah and some you can't find anything on about them yeah just but newspaper no. articles mainly I started the page as part of the 15 for 15 last year. Nice. Okay, call them again. The doctors. So I've been working on a bit of piece, bits of everything, like even today. It was for February, but I did it today. So it won't count in the challenge, but I connected to Civil War soldiers today, oh, to awesome. their families. Figured I'd try and do something. Um, and I've done, like, tried to do some of, I haven't connected those to Find a Brave, um, but I've done some of the Canada February, Canadian Notable February challenges with the USBH. Awesome. So I've tried to, um, on those five degree plate spaces, I've tried to add links to uh, where I find them. Yeah. Or if I'm doing some other things, I try to add the link to it. Like I'm, I'm doing, uh, helping with the Saint Michel de Jeff, the Yamaska um, cemetery. Someone photographed all the stones in the cemetery, and now Daniel is asking for. The art is asking for people to help connect these people or make profiles for them. Mm -hmm. um, so if I can find an existing, find a grave. So yeah. it's it's not just one project. It's like here and there and wherever I happen to be working. Yeah. I didn't understand how to put link people on the table, put people on the table until I until I uh, watched your video. Oh, uh-huh. 
because the Q number, it's like, I don't know what the Q number is. And then it's like, oh, I can skip that. I can skip that. Go, go to the one I want. Yeah. So, and because you can't see the table, it can get confusing. Yeah. Are we ever going to see, actually see the table? Um, it's not a table. It's just a, it's going or to database. Excel spreadsheet or not Excel, Google sheet. And yeah, at the end of the month, I'm going to basically, basically publish what we, what was done during okay. the month. So, so would this be an every month thing? Yeah. It's going to be a monthly, monthly challenge. Basically we just, it, it's, I mean, it's not only for those of us who are, we're already doing these types of things, but it's also to just kind of bring awareness to the other WikiTree members too, to kind of think about it. So. Yeah, because I wouldn't have never, I didn't usually put it on profiles, but it makes sense because we go there to look for stuff. Why can't they come back yeah, to exactly. WikiTree and look for stuff? <laughs> So Azure, yeah, what is the exact purpose of this challenge or group or whatever you want to classify it as? Yeah, so Link is Builders it, is all about building links back to WikiTree from other places on the internet. It's okay. building our, you know, building our hype, you know, or standing out there, you know, when Google does, when somebody looks for like genealogy of, you know, Tom Baker, we want to be up to the top of the, <laughs> you know, list. So it's building, um, you know, no, basically our own notability yes. if we have links out everywhere. It's awareness, yeah, awareness of WikiTree and, you know, the SEO for the score for WikiTree, so. So if I have a public tree on, say, Ancestry, then I should be putting on there the link to the WikiTree yeah. profile as long as there's one there. And yeah, the if same it's a public with family tree. search and, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, if it's Are a public tree, that? then then we want as many links out there as we can, we can get. Um, so yeah, that, that'd be awesome. And then for find a grave, it's putting the flower with just the wiki tree ID on it with no link. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anywhere like that, that's why I kind of left like the last part of the, uh, challenge form kind of like other sites where you could just fill in what the site was that you did because, um, there's also like fandom sites like Wikipedia or right. um, places like that where, you know, you could add like a comment or um, however you can add the link back to Wikitree, you yeah. know. I haven't started leaving the flowers yet. I put it in as a, in that sort of bio section. I say, see Wikitree profile. It's not a yeah, link yeah. because we said we can't put links. Yeah. But I said, I so gave the, give I, the ID. Yeah. Yep, yep. And I started adding them on my ancestry tree because I think Kathy, you had said that. Were you the one that started that? So yeah, so I started doing that and it helps me make sense of how who I've got on WikiTree too. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. That's good. I even ha I haven't even been to my ancestry tree for <laughs> I don't even know how long. <laughs> well, I I create trees for challenges or like I did oh, one yeah. for the connectathon. I had the connectathon in 2024. 20 mm -hmm. wiki tree connectathon 2024 tree. Because <laughs> it was all the same family like, yeah. together. So I have to go back and add the profile numbers to that so I know who I, who I still have to add. Yeah. And I do make it public after. Yeah. What was, I think I was looking at families, a family search profile the other day. And on the sources tab down the bottom, um, I want to say someone added the 
wiki tree as a source. Yep. Yeah, you can do that. And you can also on the, um, like they have a, let me bring it up the page because it's changed so much. I want to say life story, but I don't know if it's still called that. <laughs> it's on the sidebar, right? Yeah, let's see. Let me just go into a profile. Yeah, they changed this. It used to, brief life, life history used to be at the top and it was life story or whatever. But yeah, there's so, there's different places you could add it, like in notes or collaborate. So Steven's just asking you to share. You. I like the sources one, you know, that's kind of cool. Being able to add it as a source. Steven's yeah, asking you if you can your screen? Screen, share your screen. Oh, you want me to share my screen? Okay, just a second. I'm like, see this and this? And you're like, what are you talking no. about? <laughs> we're like, we're not seeing what you're seeing. <laughs> can't read the reflection in your glasses. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't done it here, but um, doo -doo -doo, it's been a while since I did this. Actually, let me go to, let me show you real quick, because I think. You can use the citation link from the Wikitree profile. Yeah. Just a second. I went, I want to say that on the link builders page, there's an example too. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I'm going in the wrong place. I don't know. There we go. Too many pages. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, that's right. I did this little how to build the source on family search if you want to do it that way attach from source box so there's different ways you can do it i thought i had done it for one of my because i have this one ancestor where i went everywhere and like tried to say okay people this is the real person don't you know get messed up or whatever so i was trying to make really when I first came to Wikitree. Hmm. Anyway, okay, sorry. I kind of went way off into the Netherlands here. I don't know if 42 sources is enough sources. <laughs> <laughs> You know, all of those states that have like a gazillion rec records or like five different versions of the, the marriage. There's a marriage license, there's the registration form, there's the. And all five for the marriage, they each have a little something different. That's right. been so long I gotta remember how I did it so Gina you were saying about uh you know on the profile on the wikitree profile you have um link and url and id and then there's site so you just grab the site citation link up at the top by your by the name nope go go up to no i was going to go to oh, the profile i want to do it for okay 
Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't give the oh there it is the profile. Oh, so I should have named it WikiTree Edit Names. profile. Sorry, I'm a little slow on the uptake tonight. <laughs> there we go. That's because it's still afternoon for you. Okay. Yep, yeah, there he is. Entry profile. So I'll add this as a as an image so that we have that for anybody else who's at interested in doing it too but yeah that'd be a way to do it for family search okay yeah but you can also just in the notes oh that's what i did here <laughs> i added a note for his profile yeah it's good to have See, it in one place yeah or in that... oh. well i was thinking of doing it in the you know, putting it in the notes. Yeah, because the notes is in the collaborate tab here too, so. Because to me, WikiTree is not really the source. Yeah. It's it's more a note because it's a profile to another, on right. another site. But yeah. that's me person. that's me personally. Yep, everybody. This is citation. So you're yeah. stating the the place where you got information, which is, you know, you may have built your family search profile based on the WikiTree profile, yeah. right? And so that would be a citation. Yeah. But also in the notes, it shows up on the first page. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Palm again. Where are you at? This is the first time I'm doing a fandom site. So you know, check it out. Okay, so this is his doo -doo -doo page. Oh, and we can edit. Nice. So they have a biography, credits. Can you explain more about this fandom site and what you're doing? Are you just adding a, a comment or something? Yeah, that's what I'm looking into right now. Okay, so they have external links. So I'm just going to do um, edit the page. This is the first time I'm doing it, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Do, do, do. Oops, sorry, I went into the wrong one here. Oh, it looks like I'll be able to. So fandom is a wiki. Yep. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. There's different fandom sites like um, Wikipedia, uh, you know, just different for like different movies or uh, TV shows or whatever. And so you just like this one's for Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. It's a TARDIS wiki. And so um, you just can go there and look up your, the person that you're working on, notable you're working on, add their link back to uh, WikiTree. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm just going to see if they have a template for, I mean, I doubt it, but maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull them again. So 
Oh, I messed up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go out, cancel, discard the edit, try this again, external link, edit. I don't think it's going to let me edit this part because I don't have a template for it, but I can put it in. Hmm. I think I would need to create our own type of a, I'll just put it in footnotes for now and see what anybody might say. Um, Hmm, that's interesting. Doesn't have the same because it's a he's a living person. So let me see. Where's my clipboard? I'll just edit the one we had for. It's a little bit clunky. Seems like change text. Okay. Again. There we go. Save. I'm not a robot. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Just going to grab the thing there and next. Okay. Woohoo! I got my first one. <laughs> Is it actually there now? It's there. Right here, gene genealogy of Paul McGann at wikitree.com. It's weird that it puts it there. Yeah, it's because this whole, this section right here is based on templates. So you can't put anything there unless it's from a template. So I just dropped it down. It's still in the external links section because footnotes is a subsection of external links. So just kind of sneaking it in there. We'll see what they do. <laughs> so that one's down, Paul McGann. Okay, and then Sylvester McCoy. Checking to see he has a wiki data entry. Okay, and then he's got the IMDB profile. And if I scroll down, I'm just gonna get down to the... So I'm just gonna edit this page and go down to the links to other sites, make a change, add one item. Grab his profile. That's it. That one's pretty easy. Oops. 
It's good if I know my own number, right? <laughs> Oh, actually, let me just double check. Yeah, he's still awake. Okay. Next. Um, IMDb. He is. What's that? All right. And then back to. The fandom website, Sylvester. Boy. Okay, grab my. Guess I didn't realize there were that many wikis out there. Yeah. Let's see. Let's grab my notepad here. I just want to have that citation ready to go and I can just edit it for Yeah, Ezra, I have to uh, I have to run, but um, thank you so much for yeah showing this and and it's giving me some ideas. So I didn't realize like uh, um, I think it was uh, Lisa. You said that you had not known there were so many wikis. I I don't think I did either, even though I used to teach on a wiki. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, just very helpful. Cool. I'm glad I helped. Have yeah. a good evening. Good to see you. Yeah, I figure why shouldn't there be links back to Wikitree? Yeah. When you're using it or adding stuff to it. Yep. Cool beans. Okay, Sylvester's done. Colin Baker. <laughs> that look on his face. <laughs> first, first when I saw it, it reminded me of Mads. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not to be insulting or anything, it's just the quick view. Yeah. He did, uh... Is oh wait, is he eighteen? Okay, let's see. Um, DB. Oops, didn't mean to close that out. All right, move on then. Somebody has a nice old clock. That's cool. Got a bunch of them. <laughs> what was it ringing? Seven thirty. Four thirty. Okay, four thirty for you. Seven thirty for me. Yep. <laughs> My mom loves old clocks like that. I got some that have the chimes in them too. Some that yeah. every 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. When I was growing up, we had a mantel clock that had, I think it's the Westminster chimes mm -hmm. every 15 minutes. Sometimes I hardly hear them ring anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to it. And I think it was set so it didn't chime during the night. Because uh, some of them have that feature where you can turn it off. Yeah. But it was in the living room, so most people didn't. And then my brother got it. And then, but then um, I guess it stopped working. So he got a grandfather's clock. 
Mm. I love grandfather's clocks. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, you got some at a garage sale and they didn't work and I cleaned them up and got them working. <laughs> one of them, I, I didn't have the pendulum, so I just rigged one up with a magnet and a coat hanger. And I ran that for a while and it was acting up and I went to clean it and I found the darn thing. Pendulum <laughs> lodged up in there. <laughs> so I got a, got it all together now. <laughs> That's good. I have PBS playing in the other just outside in the other room, so I don't forget uh, finding your roots at eight o'clock in half an hour for me. <laughs> nice. I like finding your roots much better than who do you think you are? Yeah. Just personal preference. You've done almost as much as I have in the last five minutes and I've done so far, <laughs> or adding them at least to the your spreadsheet. Mm. Oh, you're, yeah, you're a Rocky. Yeah, <laughs> kind of excited to see what happens there. Oh yeah, yeah it doesn't start be, yet though. That'll be awesome. That is so exciting. What's your CC7 at right now? 900 and something, I think. Okay, so, oh, that's right. You you should easily break the 1,000 and get your 1,000 badge. Yeah, it'll be interesting. <laughs> That'll be cool. I have a DNA match recently that oh. my grandfather's surname and and I'm trying to find the connection still. I haven't got it exactly yet. So I'm just building out her tree now, and maybe it'll connect somewhere. I found, I even did the, the Y DNA for my brother. Mm -hmm. I got no exact matches. Wow. I, I thought at first um, that there was an NPE in my family. Mm -hmm. because the person the person who was taking care of the project said of the project with a similar with a different spelling of the last name said no you're not related to them at all hmm. turns out he had connected his y dna to the he's not in my branch he's in a different branch and had done it wrong oh wow and someone else has been uh this other guy ha has been uh his father-in-law is a, another variation of the spelling and he's been connect, um, emailing back and forth with me about uh, the way that the groups and the, the, there's only 55 people in the entire group of uh, the I have FTDNA. Hmm. And uh, so, and the, the, I'm now a co-admin, but the main admin said, no, we're all Irish, we're all Irish. Well, my brother's DNA is Scottish. Why DNA huh. comes back to a Scottish group? So we're not all Irish. <laughs> I did get one with the same um, with the same haplogroup ending, like terminal SNP, finally, but it's not the same last name at all. But huh. it goes, we probably meet, match going back like, 600 years or something or 400 years ago in Scotland so it, it could be before they started using surnames yeah either intermarrying from the group beside the McFarlands were Macklems but were connected to McFarlands in the same basic group as McFarlands wow 
So I thought we were actually supposed to be McFarlane's, but it's not true because that other Macklin guy said something wrong. Hmm. So. So that's when I was going to go crazy on the one name study, but and with a certain with the spelling variations, but they're not all related. It's crazy. Even though the spelling may be only one or two letter difference, they're not all. Yeah. Um, they're not all Y DNA related. Mm -hmm. And when you take the whole world, it kind of goes crazy. Like there's one guy from Japan that is in that group. Okay, these are Irish and Scottish background, but there's a guy from Japan that's got his Y DNA in that group. There's another one from uh, Germany, I think, in that group. Or that's where their last known ancestor is. Yeah. Most. But there's just not that bit. not many people who have tested. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. That part, side of my family was very secretive about a lot of things. So they're very hard to trace. I had fun trying to get my mom's mom's age. <laughs> they never even told it. Huh. But we, we got it out of her before, <laughs> before the end. I got my mother to test at uh, Ancestry before she died. So oh, nice. I tested yeah. her several years ago and she just died last fall, last November. So mm -hmm. I can't get my parents to get on board yet. <laughs> I got my mother, one of my one of her brothers, um, the son of one of her late brothers, um, my brother, one of my brothers, one of my sisters, and a, a paternal first cousin, who I've never met, but I, except by uh, Facebook or email, but mm -hmm. got him to test at ancestry also, and then my brother and I are also at Family Tree DNA. I wish I'd gotten a chance to get my dad a test, you know, for my dad, but before he died, but that didn't happen. So how long ago did he pass? Uh, 2003. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I was too late to get my other brother. He passed in 2015. I didn't because the Y DNA tests are super expensive. Yeah. And I'm Canadian, so the, it's in U.S. fund, which makes it even worse for me. Yeah. But yeah. You deal with what you have. Yeah. You don't have a brother as you? I have four brothers. Okay, so you can always get one of them. Yeah, no. <laughs> they wouldn't? They're like, no. Well, uh, you know, some people just are like, they don't want their, their DNA. They have a problem with that. So I don't know. I had no problem with my one brother and my one sister. Yeah. But it happens the two that I got tested are the two that are still living. The brother and sister who have passed, I don't have them for. My sisters all got tested. It's my brothers that are. <laughs> but it's like... I know. information is out there about you whether you want it or not i know it's funny <laughs> trying by life insurance and they made me uh do take a toothbrush and scrub my cheek mm -hmm. and this was 30 years ago so your stuff is out there somewhere maybe not exactly your dna but yeah there's a lot more information out there than you'd like about you uh-huh definitely i should tell my grandmother that she's on the internet and she says i've never been on the internet 
I said, well, I, <laughs> I found a, a phone book with your name in it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we can, it's really funny. Just, you know, people have different kind of like um, hang ups or whatever. So it's kind of. Oh, well, in the States with the 1950 census out, a lot of people know, from that right? census are still alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> <laughs> We just had the 1931 census released last year in Canada. And I found my grandparents with their two older sons, but not my dad because he was he wasn't born till the 30s. My my parents were both born in 35. So, huh. but it's like, okay, most of them 30 years, like they wait 92 years. So most of the people have died by then. Yeah. And I'm telling my um my orphan, my Trans Canada Orphan Trail travelers, to be careful creating a profile for anyone who's born less than a hundred years ago. Yeah, just because unless you can confirm that they have passed. Mm -hmm. A few people live to over a hundred. Mm -hmm. I just saw uh, something on Instagram or one of the sites. And the lady had lived to be 112. It's like, wow. I remember a story from the, from the U.S. a number of years ago. I don't know, maybe this is 30 years ago. That, but a lady made it to 106. And she got a thing in the mail saying, she, why was she not in school? Because the thing didn't register the 106. It thought she was six years old. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so she got a letter in the mail going you must be registered for school that is really crazy maybe you'll see better if i put these on. no no Not using the new logo, the new uh, WikiTree Love Heart. Oh, the the um, it's the heart, the heart one. Yeah, I ha I haven't been using it. That's funny. Let's see, I think it's just can't remember where I put it. It's on the images. Yeah. But it's on the second page. I didn't realize there was a second page for the longest time when I was trying to find it. But they've got one with the word wiki tree underneath it now. Yeah. Just go to images, the images page. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be there? The images tab. I put it up there just you know it's funny all of a sudden I have drawn a blank <laughs> but wouldn't it just be on the images tag tab I thought uh, that was where the link builders challenge uh, link uh builders. oh maybe not under link builders but on the social well, media ones no it's on um it's on a different page than that oh uh, just a second yeah I had to search for it here it is there does that one have the text on the bottom no i oh. don't want to do that because i okay just because somebody might have a problem with it so oh okay there's so much on WikiTree, it's hard to find it all. <laughs> Definitely. It's not intuitive for a lot of it. No. Well, I've gotten and, a bunch of relatives. I created a profile and then asked them to sign up. So they did sign up and they didn't know what, what they were looking at totally. <laughs> well, then you have help pages and they have the hyperlinks to other pages. And you can end up 20 pages away from where you were could you keep 
clicking on it to find out more information. Yeah. I I find some of the um some of the some of the menu is intuitive, like add create a profile kind of that, but some of them are even under the find or that it's still hard to find it or to know where. Like when Betsy gives her tips on Saturday, often it's like, oh, okay, that's where that's where you can how you can do that or that's where you can find that or that. Well, or and even during the connectathons or during the thons go, when they have their hang Yeah. I just go wiki, I just go into Google and I just go wiki tree, what I'm looking for, as much information, it usually comes right up with the what I'm looking for. See, I, I cannot search G2G and get the right thing. Yeah. yeah. If I try I and find to. the latest weekend chat, I can't find it. Yeah, I just go into, um, instead of searching in G2G, I do Wikitree, G2G, and then what I'm looking for in Google. Oh, okay. Well, there is also the um, the find, and you can search that Google search. You can ask it, Google to search only within Wikitree yeah. from the menus. Yeah. I go to Google, type in what I'm looking for, and then put the wiki tree, and it usually, like Azure says, usually brings it right up. I should do that more often. I usually stay within wiki tree to try and find it, and that doesn't always work. But for Google, my friends call me Google because I'm always looking stuff up. Make a comment. Oh, what's the answer to that? Yeah. So there's another notable that died today, um, Riviera, some lady from films. Riviera, oh, she's um, Spanish or Mexican, I think. Riviera. Oh. I don't have my phone with me. I'll go grab my phone and Google it. <laughs> Once I find my links, I'll put a bookmark right on my darn desktop sometimes. Yeah. Then it gets lost in the whole mess anyway. There. Cheetah. Cheetah Riviera. Rivera, sorry. Huh. Cheetah Rivera starred in West Side Story. Oh, right, right, right. She died at 91 today. Is there a, is there a, page for her already? Oh, I haven't looked yet. Ten Tony nominations, winning, tw uh, winning twice, Broadway career. Says she was Anita in the original production of West Side Story. To check. Yep, 
well, her daughter's on there. Her daughter has a profile, so. Puerto Rican, that's what they are, not Mexican. Yep, she has a, oh, someone already put her death date in too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing how quick those go on. She was Dolores Conchita Figueroa del Rivero. Figueroa. All right. Yep. That's done. John Kirby. Yep. Her death is our, the statement about her death is already in there. Huh. <laughs> okay. Well, it's getting close to eight o'clock for me. I've just got a couple minutes, so I think I'm going to go. I also can't do any links while I'm watching because I'm okay. on my iPad. Right. Okay. Well, have a good okay. evening. So, you too. See ya. Bye. Bye. I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off too. All right. So, have a good one. All right. You too. Bye. Bye, Bye Kathy. Bye.